What's up guys? So I got these chicken thighs right here I'm gonna do for you. Um, I'm gonna do a simple char grill on the Weber kettle. I'm just gonna char them and put them off indirect and cook them up like that. I got my homemade barbecue sauce I'm gonna do for you. I'll just show you guys how I go through it. So obviously uh, if you don't want to make your own you can always use your favorite from the store. If you don't like my recipe you could use your own however you want to do it. Um, and then with the seasoning and the rub um, keep in mind when you're charring chicken and that skin it's gonna burn up pretty quick on you. So as far as sugar content goes in the rub, I wouldn't put any in there at all, but you could always do it how you want. Um, whatever works for you, go ahead and do that. Um, there's a few things before we get this seasoned up. A few things you gotta do is, number one, get your grill going. I'm using a Weber kettle grill. It's like the Swiss Army knives of grills. It does everything you could smoke on. You could just direct grill. You could do indirect, however you want to do it. You could use a gas grill, even though you know, I don't really recommend that, but whatever works, um, go ahead and do that. Number two, get your fire going. I'm using Kingsford Blue briquettes. You could use lump charcoal. It burns a little bit hotter. Um, it burns out a little bit quicker. You're gonna get less ash with the lump charcoal, but I just figure um, the Kingsford, I always just stick with that. It's just like, you know, tried and true. I always just, always been using it. And I'm using a chimney starter. Um, I, know, I know there's some people out there that use lighter fluid. I don't recommend that. Not because of the flavor, it's just too messy and you really don't even need to do that. If you have a chimney starter, it's gonna take you like 15 minutes with some, you know, paraffin wax, wax cubes underneath, or you could use the little tumbleweeds, or you could stuff some newspaper under there and just get the fire going like that. All right, so the third step, you're gonna put your charcoal in the actual grill. I'm doing all that charcoal on half of the grill. Gonna get a hot zone and a cool zone. The hot zone is just to char the chicken like I was talking about. And that's pretty much it. So we're gonna get this seasoned up and I'll show you guys how I make that rub. All right, so I've got this chicken here. I got it dried off pretty well, as good as I can get it. And then make sure you just cut off any extra pieces of skin hanging off. Um, it's not really too much work you gotta do. Not gonna use any binder or anything like that. There's a, you know, there's a little bit of moisture on there. It's gonna stick to it, it'll be all right. So we're starting off skin side down with the chicken and usually I flip these every you know 10 seconds or a little bit more than that but this flame was running a little bit hotter than usual um, the, sk the skin was kind of curling up a little bit and I was getting some flare-ups so a couple of ways to solve the flare-ups is you could put the lid over the top and cut the oxygen off and things will calm down but I didn't want to walk away from this so I was just sitting there kind of flipping it over and moving the chicken off to the side just to calm it down a little bit and kind of putting it back on, back and forth, just to get the, uh, the color I wanted. So it's up to you however you want to do it. Just get the color you want, let it get nice and crispy, and then um, set it off to the side and put the cover over the top and let it go for a little bit. All right guys, easiest barbecue sauce you're ever gonna make. Get yourself a pot. 
Um, there's different barbecue sauces, different styles, um, tomato based, vinegar based. But I'm gonna start with about a cup of ketchup and then add whatever ingredients that sound good to you. Uh, that's what you should put in there. But I always start with like a cup of ketchup and I put some mustard in there, Worcestershire sauce, a um, little bit of vinegar, apple cider vinegar. And I'm using a I don't know if you can see it, a peach habanero jam I got from my friends Mike and Melody, so thank you. This has been sitting in the pantry for a while, so I'm gonna use that cup of ketchup I was talking about. I'm probably gonna use about half of this right here. So that's probably about almost a cup. So I'll list all the ingredients below. You guys can check that out. So check it out. All right, get a medium heat. All right, cup of ketchup. Almost a cup of the habanero jam. A little bit of mustard in there. A little bit of that rub I just made. Probably put about a tablespoon in there. Big splash of apple cider vinegar. Some Worcestershire sauce. Couple tablespoons of butter, and just a little splash of this hot sauce. Some El Yucateco chili habanero. So just keep stirring this. Make sure it doesn't burn and stick to the bottom of the pan. Keep it on like a medium low, and just let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes, and you should be good. Also taste it for seasoning. See if it's missing anything. If you need more sugar, throw some sugar in there. Tastes good. Alright guys, there you have it. Mmm. Ooh. Super good flavor. The barbecue sauce has a little kick to it. It's actually not too sweet because I put that vinegar in there to kind of like balance it out a little bit. And that fire was super hot. Actually, the total cook time was like 35, 40 minutes. Usually, I mean, usually it takes me about an hour to do like, you know, some, some thighs like this, but that fire was burning pretty hot. It didn't take that long. And you know, with the temperature on the, the dark meat, especially on the bone like this, you can let it go to like 175, 185. I mean, even close to 200 degrees, it's not gonna dry it out. I mean, it's juicy. It's not dry at all. It tastes really good. But you know, with the, with the white meat chicken breast, you're probably gonna wanna pull it at like, just over 160 and let it carry over to 165, but you know. But that's it guys, easy chicken. The barbecue sauce was good, you guys should try it out. I'll list everything down below so you can check it out. So, see you on the next video. Peace out guys. Yeah.